beings. And Angus Crawford has been to find out more. He sent us this special report. From these slums, a new crime is emerging, targeting men thousands of miles away on the other side of the world. They call it sextortion. Really, it's online <coughs> blackmail. Scammers can make hundreds of dollars a day. Access to the internet is cheap and easy in the Philippines, and this crime is now happening on an industrial scale. Officers from the country's cybercrime unit raid a call centre. They find young people working in shifts, targeting victims using social media. There are even bonuses for the workers who make the most money. But how exactly does this new crime work? A friend request online. She's attractive and suggests a more intimate chat on a webcam. I was very frightened, just the thought. As John found out, that chat is recorded, followed by a threat to put the video online, unless the victim pays up. She told my family and friends, tell my daughter, tell my wife, you know, ruin your life, ruin your family. If anybody was looking at me now on Skype uh, through video, that's what they would see. What victims don't know is most of the women aren't real just pre-recorded videos programmed to obey commands. If she said hello, you could do okay, you know, I'll wave to you. There you go, there's a wave. Wayne runs a support group for victims and gets thousands of requests for help. So far today we've had ten, two, one, two. The scammers, he says, are ruthless. I don't think they care. I really don't think they care what happens, just so long as they get that money. You know, they'll tell people, I'm going to ruin your life, I'm going to make you famous. They'll say anything to them don't care about the consequences. Police are targeting the trade, but most victims are too embarrassed to come forward, leaving the criminals hidden in the anonymity of the internet and the sprawling slums of Manila. Angus Crawford, BBC News in the Philippines. It's disturbing stuff, isn't it? Uh, I should just say, if you want to get in touch on any of the stories you've seen in the course of the programme, well, you can do so. I'm on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is at BBC David Eads. It would be very good to hear. Thanks for watching. BBC World News.